what there are a couple things that I want you guys to understand. Nope, you can sit down for this. Um, basically, what I want you guys to understand is there's two important things uh, that we need in this case. All right, you guys need to understand. First of all, when we have a root or a, rad, um, a radical symbol without a number, we assume we take into account that is the square root. Okay. So you guys should be very familiar with the square root. Just know that that number is 2. We just don't always write it unless it's a root higher than 2. The next thing is if you just have an expression, um, that expression can always be raised to 1. But notice, guys, I'm taking the square root of 2 and y, right? I'm not just taking the square root of 2, nor am I not just taking the square root of y. I'm taking the square root of 2 and y. Okay, Very, very important. So that's why I put them in parentheses, because in parentheses, they're both raised to the 1 power. Now, using the rules that we went over to start the class, I can rewrite this as 2y to the 1 half power. And the important thing that I mentioned is the 2y has to be in parentheses. Because if you guys just write it like this, which is the most common mistake, this says 2 times y to the 1 half power which, if I was going to rewrite that, would look like this. right? You're not taking just the square root of y. You're taking the square root of 2 and y. right? So you have to make sure you include parentheses. Very, very, very important detail. Got that, Anthony?